Now here I was promising to demolish well-loved cliches, and here I am starting with one. We live in the information age. The world has changed. It's the information revolution. What a cliché. And what does it bring to mind? Flat screen TVs, smartphones, and endless gadgets. So let's get one thing clear. All of those gadgets and technology are superficial and irrelevant. I love gadgets as much as anyone, but those are not what makes this the information age or makes this era the information revolution. Because you see, the term information revolution is not a cliché. It is a reality. A hundred years from now, they will refer to this period in the same way that we look back on the Industrial Revolution, the Renaissance, and the Agricultural Revolution. And this is not marketing hype or general hyperbola. There is something new under the sun, and its impact on human society is, and will continue to be, as significant as the discovery of agriculture, the printing press, and the steam engine. In fact, there are two new things under the sun. First, for the first time in human history, it is possible for any individual to communicate directly with any number of other individuals and to engage in commerce with any number of other individuals at effectively zero cost and with zero delay. In the past, it has been possible for a few people to communicate with many people. The printing press and later broadcast media saw to that. But for anyone to do so, that is new. Second, for the first time in human history, every individual can have access to virtually all human knowledge at effectively zero cost. A few of you may object to this point, noting that it's not true for every individual on the planet. And that is true, but it's also being picky. The technology to support what I describe exists, and the trend in that direction is clear. We are well on the way. These changes are having a huge impact on every aspect of society. Many of the consequences are obvious, though we don't always see them in the context of these two facts. The growth of e-commerce and online retailers, the increasing mismatch between available jobs and people with the skills needed to fill them, and the widespread adoption of social networks are clearly results of these two revolutionary developments. Despite its best efforts to resist change, education is being impacted as well. I'm not referring to the obvious changes, the presence of computers in classrooms, computer-aided training, testing, and even online courses like this one. Like gadgets, those are just symptoms, today's expressions of the massive underlying changes that are occurring and are but a hint of things to come. The change that really matters can be found in the death of a cherished phrase, one that is not just obsolete, but is now a blatant lie.